What's up all you dad hustlers out there? This is Will Crown and today's episode is about when you're pissed off at your spouse or your girlfriend or your living whoever. When you're kind of pissed, what do you do? Keep the shirt, Bob Ross, remember him? And the guy that painted on TV for a long time. Like it says here, ever make mistakes in life? I thought this was so fitting for today. Can't really see the bottom, but it says, let's make them birds. Yeah, they're birds now. <laughs> That's how he was when he was painting. One time he said, there's no such thing as mistakes, only happy accidents. There are mistakes, and there are things that sometimes you say, and as you're saying it, it's like, Really, you just, you're just trying to catch the words as they come out of your mouth. You know you're done for. You know that there's no going back once you say what you said. Well, last night I had one of those situations with my wife. Over something stupid. I'm not going to get into details. Because that would cause another argument. But I was just, you know when you're, you're just biting your lip and you're like, mm. she had said one last thing. And I was like, bit my tongue and I walked away. Thought I was doing good, and then like 10 minutes later, we caught up with one another, and I let gush out everything that I had held back. So it wasn't good, because then I knew I was screwed, because I said the wrong things. You can't speak out of just pure emotions. Well, if you want a long-lasting relationship, you can either be right 100% of the time, or you can be happy, because there's no way to have both. When you got two people living under one roof, you got like 20 different opinions. So don't expect that person to always view things the way you view them. Man, was I pissed. Now, let me encourage you. There is still hope. If you're that guy who said the wrong thing, you know what's crazy and funny at the same time? After I said that to her last night, I was even angrier than I had been because I knew that I was no longer in the right. Before, at least, I had felt somewhat justified because I felt like I had walked away, bit my tongue with that, like, mm, smile on my face. But after I let things fly, now I felt like I was the guy in the wrong. Like I should have been more self-controlled, and it's true. Relationships aren't easy. They're awesome, but they're not easy. It takes a lot of work. I told you guys I was gonna be real with you. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. It doesn't always look like this right here. That's why I put it up. And it can switch like that over the dumbest things. I remember one of the biggest arguments that my wife and I have had, and we've had a lot. I mean, we've been married almost 19 years, was when we started talking about this lady that we know. She was thinking about having a breast reduction. Carla was like, oh, she's this size. And I said, nah, she's got to be at least like a double D. Or... And we were, <laughs> we were like going back and forth. No, she's this. Says, well, how would you know? You don't know. Well, I know I'm a dude. I know what size is a size by looking. Well, what, you know, and we got into this Big old argument about nothing. <laughs> about this other person's breast size who we don't even communicate with today. I don't know if the D word ever came up at that time, but I wouldn't be surprised. That's another interesting topic. I remember when I was getting married, marriage counselors were saying, don't ever mention the D word, divorce, okay? Never say it because the minute you say it, then it's like an option on the table and you're going to take that option or one of you will. I don't prescribe to that. Subscribe? I don't agree with that ideology. If you've been married for a while, you know what I'm talking about here, but about nine years into our marriage, my wife and I reached one of those points where we were just irritable with one another. It was like really drastic. Um, I didn't want to be around her. She didn't want to be around me. We already had a couple little kids by then. And, you know, we had come out of a situation where it seemed like our roles had completely changed from what we originally signed up for. It was a, it was a really difficult time. And if you've been married a while, you know... When you're going through that, you start questioning, did I do the right thing? Did I make a mistake by being with this person? We are compatible. Maybe we've grown apart from the media to tell you it's okay, that people do grow apart, that, you know, just give up on it and go do something else. You'll be happier. The kids will understand long run, right? I'm not bashing you, dude. If you're in a divorce situation, like, those things do happen. And some of my best friends are divorced and it happens. I remember vividly, we were lying in bed next to each other. Didn't really even want to be there. I'd rather go sleep on the couch at that point. My jaw was clenched. I'm sure she felt the same way about me at the time. And I said to her, Carla, we need to decide whether or not we want to continue to do this. Do we really want to continue staying married? I brought it up and, and we had honest, logical discussion about it laying there. And me just bringing it up, bringing it to light, and actually addressing the elephant in the room, 
it was like such a relief. So we like Franklin teed it, if you know what that is. It's like where you draw out the, you know, the little deal like that. You got pros and cons for each direction. And ultimately we decided through a logical process, decision-making process that we wanted to make our marriage last. I'm so glad that we brought it up at that point because it addressed that elephant in the room. It allowed us to, to air out everything that we were both feeling and to actually have a discussion about it. And I believe that saved our marriage at the time. But there's nothing amazing in life that's easy. Your career, your marriage, your parenthood, whatever. If it's gonna be fantastic, there's gonna be growing pains, but it's so worth it. This is just more of a real discussion. To summarize what I was talking about earlier when I had that frustrating argument, when I went to bed last night, I, I told her, babe, I was out of line. I shouldn't have said what I said. I can be a jerk sometimes, and I'm sorry, because I screw up all the time. But so does she. It's true. We're all human. I think it was the Buddha who said holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It only festers on the inside of you. It can't be good long term. So you gotta sack up and be the bigger man. When they make mistakes, give them a pass. Remember, if you got a dad hustle, that person should be your number one support. And likewise, you need to be for them. This was just a real conversation. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'm excited about what the future holds. If you know somebody that's struggling in their marriage or maybe a boyfriend, girlfriend situation, they've been dating for a long time, they're engaged, whatever the situation is, if you know that this might benefit them, please forward it along, like, share, comment, and subscribe because I want to stay connected and be able to reach as many people as possible with the message of Dad Hustle. As always, my name is Will Crown and I'm here to help you get to the next level in your Dad Hustle. Keep hustling, dads. And remember, we all make mistakes. Just Turn them into birds. You can't stop me! Oh, that's all you got.